standard form in scientific notation for two ways of writing exactly the same number. An example of this is a number like 470,000. This number can also be written in scientific notation as 4.7 times 10 to the 5. Now it's very important that you're able to convert between these two ways of writing numbers. And it is quite an easy thing to do. The first thing I'm going to have a look at is this number over here. This 10 to the 5. Just to make sure you're okay with what we're looking at there. 10 to the 5 also means 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. Which, which equals 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros after it. OK? So this is just another way of writing 4.7 times 100,000, which is 470,000. Now, that's one way you could convert, you could work out what this 10 to the whatever is, you could work it out and then you could times it by 4.7 or whatever your number is, and you could get your answer, but there is an easier and a faster way. And then I'll show you right now. So if you want to convert between to, from scientific notation to standard form, the first thing I generally do is here, I would write down this 4.7, okay? And I'll write it down just here, 4.7. Now. Whenever you're multiplying by anything like 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 100,000, all you're doing is you're moving a decimal place. And you probably realise this. An example of this is, say, if you got 9 and you times it by 100, well, the answer is 9, the decimal place is there, and you've moved the decimal place two times, 1, 2, so the answer is 900. Okay? It's just a matter of moving a decimal place. Now here, you have to move the decimal place five times. Okay? So we'll do that right now. So decimal place moves one, two, three, four, five times. And here I just put zeros. So decimal place is now here. And I'll just get rid of that one just there. So the answer is 470,000. Okay, pretty easy. Now if I want to, say, work a standard form number and change it into a scientific notation number, well, the example here of 470,000, what I would do, well, I would look at the, where I'd want to place a decimal place to make it into scientific notation, which would be just there. At the moment, the decimal place is just there. So, the first thing I'd write out is 4.7, times 10, and that's going to be times 10 to the something, I just need to work out what it is, and the amount that's going to be is how many times I need to move the decimal place to get from here to here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Okay, this number is the same as that there. Okay, pretty easy. I'll run through another example. Okay, so I have a number like 1.78 times 10 to the 9. A nice big number, and I want to change it into a standard form number. Okay, so what do I do? I write down this 1.78, and I'm going to move the decimal place 9 times. Okay, which is shown just there. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'll put a 0. So I'll just get rid of that nice little decimal place there. So the answer here is 1,780,000,000. Okay, what about if I want to change from standard form number? Something silly like 27 million. And I want to change that into a standard form number. Okay, so what do I do? 
is first I would write down this part just here, there's 2.27 and I would write down as 2.7 times 10 to the power of, let's have a look 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so it's 10 to the 7 ok, nice and easy and you should be getting used to these by now I'll just go through one example which is a little bit different now quite often to represent very very small numbers you get things written like this 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 ok this negative 6 here without getting too technical is like writing it's, it's not getting 10 times 10 times 10 this time it's actually getting 1 tenth times 1 tenth which is 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.1 and it's getting up a very, very small number. So, if you're trying to work this out and trying to change it into a number which is standard form, the really easy way to do it is to write down your 4.5. And instead now moving your decimal places that way, instead you move them this way. So, I'll move them, as you probably guessed, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll put the zeros there and the decimal place now ends up there so my answer is 0 0.000045 a really 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 small number now if you want to change say a number like this into a scientific notation number you start with the decimal place there you're going to want to get the decimal place there and you just count how many times you've moved it you have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6. So it would be 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, a lot of people I've noticed get occasionally confused about which way they have to move the decimal place. You know, that's all well and good right now, so that's fine. But then you get something that looks a bit like this. Okay, it's not too bad right now, it's fresh in your head, but give it a few weeks' time, and all of a sudden, hmm, a bit confusing. The way I remember which way I'm going to end up having to move this decimal place this way or this way is like this. It's by the simple use of a number line. Now all of you can probably draw one of these. I'll put the zero just here. Now as you probably guess, I'd start putting a 1, 2, 3 that way, which are positive, and a minus 1, a minus 2, a minus 3 that way. They're negative. And it's actually with this it's a similar way which way you'd be moving the decimal place if it's a say 10 to the 4 here the decimal place 3.72 the decimal place is going to move this way like a positive number like 4 is here so 1 2 3 4 okay the answer becomes 37,200 if it was a question like a, a thing like this where it was 1.68 times 10 to the minus 4 okay 1.68 minus 4 you move in this direction on the number line it's the same with the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4 times anyway I'm going to leave that now I hope you go ok with those and we'll see you next time bye